Hello. Good morning, wherever you are in the world. Or afternoon or evening. Whatever. This is going to... Um, welcome to my channel. Uh, let's just get into it. Like, I'm so famous. Like, I just need my first name, right? Like, J-Lo or some shit. No, my name is um, Bobby. I am the emperor of my universe. I'm just really excited. I just want to get this out. Um, this is going to be about art and tips for artists. So if you're not really into art, you probably just could give a shit, right? Anyway, this is good. It's really important because this is something I've been using for a while. And for example, this is Bright Magenta. It was 50 cents. You can get them at uh, Michael's or <clears throat> Hobby Lobby or Walmart, whoever. And then what I do is I take a 50 cent Bright Magenta, for example, and I'll take, let's say, metallic. I use a metallic. It's from Folk Art. And they have two versions. This must be the newer version, the new label they have. But it's basically a pearl white metallic. Really beautiful. And what I do is I'll mix this in with a normal paint. Like I said, I take half of this and I dump it into another container. And I mix it up. So I literally have twice as much paint. For a, that's just another tip because this stuff is thick. Thank God they, when you buy these little things, the paint is super thick, which means if you understand painting like I do, I do a lot of throwing. I like my paint to be more fluid. Not like so much that it's just thin, but this stuff goes a long way. So you can take half of this, dump it out into another container, and then add water, then add some of this, my metallic, and then on top of that, this is where it gets really cool, is I use this extreme glitter. This stuff is the, yeah, this is the key extreme glitter this will literally pop whatever paint you're using this will take a 50 cent and turn it into a 350 because a lot of these are expensive this is like what maybe 250 a dollar fifty I'm not sure how much these are some of them get really expendy and I got some Inca gold which is really good I'm telling you if you're gonna paint and be an artist it helps to like I said I didn't take any classes for schooling so I literally had to learn myself and figure the you know figure out what I was gonna do <clears throat> and I really enjoyed the finger painting part of it that's just like the passion play and then you can then when I sit there and focus on something pretty in the foreground like I did the silver dollar I mean the sand dollar I was really excited about that so I focused on it and it was really you know it, it's almost like it's almost like a meditation you know how the the monks do those little sand decorations and stuff that's a form of meditation well I do my painting and it's the same thing but anyway the point of this video is just to be able to go in and buy any color you want. And I got some other ones too. I got um, a pale daffodil. And literally, I actually turned this one. Let me see if I got it in there. I'm so into this. And this is basically what it is. I took this as an old glitter container. It had the extreme glitter. But basically, I added a bunch of the pale daffodil. And I added some pearl. <clears throat> I also added some metallic pearl white and it's gonna pop and this is gonna be plus you know basically this this would normally cost about 350 if you're gonna buy the metallic they're good they get a little spendy and that's what I'm telling you so you all you gotta do is pearl white pearl white and extreme glitter these two are per, and you know they always have pearl white and they actually have these in the bigger bottles which I would recommend because if you're gonna take a bunch of different colors like these then you only have to 50 cents remember this people 50 cents you can turn this into a three dollar one with just these two ingredients and that is my lesson for today oh one more tip i would like to add is something for you to think about like i said i never paint with my canvas up upright my canvas is always laying flat on the ground and i recommend using combs um oven scrapers marbles i mean Anything you can think of. Like I said, I like using my fingers and I use my palms too. Because when your palms make really cool, unique little, it almost look like, like I said, I made a really cool one that looks like a, um, like a, like a little reef. Not a reef, but you know what I mean. Um, I can't think of it right now. But you know what I mean. Like little um, tide pools. It looked like a tide pool. Anyway, so now I got to figure out what to do with that. You know, so I'm excited. But anyway. So you always have to be excited about what you do. Like I said, if you, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Right now, I'm not working, but I love what I do. And I'm, I don't know if you can see this, 
but I'm producing, right? There's about five of those that are still unpainted that I just bought, but pretty much I got a whole bunch of new ones I just, so yeah, I'm excited. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy, but art loves it. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Alrighty, okay, bye.